um, I'd like to talk about is that I understand that steak is, is really bad for you and carbohydrates should be eliminated for consumption. Um, what's the truth on this? See, I have to I think, uh, so if, if you guys are watching this, the, the one reason why I know what he's doing and, and how he's, he's giving uh, uh, knowledge is because I'm going to probably argue with anybody that you understand the, the, to put a program together, a nutrition plan or a training plan, I'm confident that you could do an incredible plan. I'm, I'm confident that you could take somebody that was just starting uh, into powerlifting and you could take them all the way to the nationals. But the one thing that you went to uh, when you're talking about training and, and compound movements or secondary or anything is that you went to the mindset. And that, to me, just says that you are out there and you are, you are actually really helping people and stuff because it's the mindset. Get that in control. The rest is kind of, you know, we'll study and we'll learn and we'll grow together. But you get the one thing done. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing. I think that that shows kind of like who you are in your soul. So I can appreciate that. Well, what was the text message you sent? I'm going to literally read this right now and read. What did you send me? Like, I, so I, I know you have a history of training early in the morning. So I was like, and hey, Mike Jordan, blah, 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 Wednesday morning. I said, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you name a time. Skip the part where I say send nudes. <laughs> so, so skip uh, that part. 4 a.m., love that you already know. No time for sleep. We have the world to take over. It's like, who sends that? Like, we're lifting weights at an ungodly time in the morning. Who sends that other than an unwell person? That is a, that is a, but that's the exact kind of, like, mindset that all of my friends who do what we do have, right? Like, that's going to be it. Because someone would look at that and be like, this guy's fucked. I'll see you at 10. And I'll be like, all right. Alarm set for 3.30. And I slept for 45 minutes because I was too excited. Right? And I think you, that's something. That's an intangible piece that's hard to teach. Hard to teach. Right? Um, well, I, I got these guys over here, tons of, wow, what did you do to this computer, man? Um, I'd like to talk about is that I understand that steak is, is really bad for you and carbohydrates should be eliminated for consumption. Um, what's the truth on this? See, that's the thing. Like, I don't understand. I, okay. Here's the truth. The truth is it's not about nutrition. Oh, go, it's not. Go. It's about identity. That's all of it. Like people aren't democratic or Republican because of oh, the way they think man. they're they're No, but it's true. Like these are diet identities. Oh, right. Like, just... I'm carnivore. I'm keto. It's like, great. So you can go to Austin, Texas and eat with your paleo friends at that one conference or like there, I literally saw someone there. There's a, there was paleo awards this year. I've never even heard somebody put that as an analogy in a sense. And, and sitting here, you're right. And I just watched a Joe Rogan um, stand up talking about vegans and again I, I love all of you so don't don't worry about that but Joe Rogan was really funny man you got to go see it but he was talking about how uh, he was it was so funny because he's sitting there talking to somebody for two minutes and he's like well I'm a vegan oh uh, oh okay uh, I just met you yeah. but it, it really is starting to come to an identity have you ever talked to someone from Harvard yeah you know how you know because in the first minute they tell you it's tell you. Harvard, right? It's the same thing, but like, it's, there, there's an elite, there's a, there's a group thing because now all of a sudden all your, all of your decisions are made for you on behalf of the group identity because it's hard to be an individual. It's hard to have like discern your thought processes on different topics, especially nutrition. So people just go, I'm going to buy into this camp. I'm going to be indoctrinated by, you know, carnivore was really big, and then you know, keto and paleo. It's, I don't even know if I know the difference. Like, I just like. And that's, this is the same thing I do with training. Like my background is not, you know, in nutrition. I can, you know, I have a biochemistry background and I can understand a little bit about it. But like at the end of the day, it's like, if you don't understand the base level principles, just like training, you're just sort of doing this plug and play. Like I will use the comparison of like, if anyone out there knows how to build a website, like code a website, like go in with like Python or Ruby Red or C++ or HTML, like write the base level code. That is a soft, that is a, that is a website designer. That is an engineer, right? That should be the goal in writing a program or writing a diet to be an engineer, to understand how to write code, right? Where it's like, I go on Squarespace to like design my website. I drag a photo from like one day and it's like, oh, like 
Yeah, yeah, I'm a designer. Yeah, I'm a designer, right? But it's like, no, you're not. You're not an engineer. You're you're a, you're a monkey with two symbols. Like that's what you are. And in the same comparison, like you are not an engineer unless you know the base level code. And like to use a music example, like there's a lot of noise around dieting, right? And a lot of noise around training. But you have to, like if you wrote a diet, that would be music because you're a conductor because you understand that. Look. Woodwind does this, and brass does this, and percussion does this, and putting that together will sound like this. And guess what? Fats do this. Protein does this. Carbohydrates do this. And if you put it together, you're going to get this sort of resonant, harmonious out- output that would be music, where like these diets are just noise. And then you realize, digging deeper into the mindset of someone who would adopt, I am a vegan. What does that mean? I am not a vegan. That is who you are. You are not eating meat. That doesn't make any sense. Or I am paleo, or I am this. It's like, you're telling me you are identified as who you are as a person on this earth by what you do or do not consume. And like, that's that's absurd to me, but that's that's a red herring. It's not about the diet. It's about the psychological association with the group identity. That's all it is. To me, it's that's as clear as day. Like I remember the, the kids who used to eat lunch under the stairs and listen to Lamb of God and put mascara. It's the same thing. You might as well be vegans or carnivores. I was going through a phase. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, hey, man. I still wear the mascara, sample, but still. Sample, I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't know. Don't knock until you try. But it's like, that's that's all it is to me. Like, these base level principles. Like, you can, it's not about believing in anything, right? And that's what, what I teach. It's like, what I teach is, is, it's not a system. It's a system's way of thinking. It's like, you can you can believe it or not believe it all you want. Its existence is going to continue regardless of what you believe in. Right? It's the same with nutrition. It's just like, here's, here's protein, carbs, fats. Here's micro, macro nutrition. Here's net caloric. Here's intake. Here's deficit. Go. Right? And that for me, again, not classically trained as a nutritionist, but just in thinking laterally from what I see in training and trends and indoctrination and training and identities around training. Oh, I'm a hip guy. I'm a German volume yeah. guy. Or I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I'm a Paul Quinn guy, or I'm a Paul Check guy. It's like, you know, Paul Quinn, you're, you're training for 45 minutes. Paul Check, you're painting a picture between sets. It's like, what the hell's going on here, guys? Like, we, it's, it's reps and sets and tempo and length tension relationship. Like, these are the base level principles. And it seems like, not to say anything bad about Paul Check or Charles Paul Quinn, like, they're both very influential, especially in my world. But, like, when I see people adopt their principles, they're just dragging and dropping. Just like me on the website being a software engineer. Just like me with two symbols making them. There's no, there's no engineering. There's no, there's no conducting. There's no resonance. There's no thought process. And it shows. No. Incredible way to put it. I love how you, uh, you put that. Um, I'm not going to add to it because, again, uh, my people know how I feel. Um, if you want to do a diet, do a diet. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, change it. Continue forward. Um, try different things. Uh, again, I go back to the fact that, uh, for me, carbohydrates is a great thing. Um, and it really teaches my body, uh, am, I, am I training too hard or not training hard enough uh, for me and, and or dieting too long or not dieting long enough. But the way you put it to uh, break down that it's become an identity is it, it goes back to the days of when I first started lifting. Um, it was very much a uh, I'm a power lifter or a bodybuilder. And so when I started lifting and I competed in 1983 it was the first show. Um, I, I was training with who, again, I, I, I thought were just strong guys. I didn't know they were the strongest in the world. Um, Doyle Kennedy, Doug Furness, uh, Jeff Magruder. And so these guys were like, no, no, no we got to focus on the strength. You're a power lifter. Remember that. And I'm like, yeah, but you, don't, you don't look that good. I like how those guys look. I don't want to be a body, but you can't do both. Uh, yeah. And it's that same sense for you guys out there, man. Um, don't identify. Don't jump the bandwagon. Up. And, and again, you made a point that was great. It's hard to be the individual. It's always better to be part of a crew, part of a team. And I guess that's kind of one of those things where uh, if you're a vegan or you're a carnivore diet, then you belong to something. And it makes you uh, relatable in a sense. But for me, I love it all. I love everything you stand for and what you're doing, man. Um, and you guys are in town for a couple more days, yeah? So we'll get some more puppy time in. Yes. <laughs> I was really going to say 4 a.m. workout. So like, ah, busy that day. Puppy time. Sorry. Puppy yeah. time. If you got any questions, Jeffrey, watch a shiwa, Ichiban. Nothing here. Nothing. You guys are very quiet today. A little quiet. A little quiet. I love it, man. 
Uh, thanks for hanging out today. And um, we've, we we just found out, I don't know when this is going to hit, but we just found out, I guess all of us found out yesterday, that the Arnold Expo is not going to happen. The show itself, um, competitors, I don't know if the amateurs are competing. I know the Strongman and the Pro Show is happening. Yeah. Is the amateur still I happening? I think so. Rx put it up. I think Palumbo put it up yesterday. That amateur still happening as well. I'm glad for them. Yeah. I'm glad that they're still being able to do that with this whole uh, um, uh, virus thing. What's your What's your take on this right now? Oh, Donald yeah. Trump came up with that. Hey, Donald did. They, they Donald, man. I'm imagining a golden toilet on a golf course in Florida. He's looking at a Mexican beer because, of course, it would be a Mexican beer. And he just goes, I got it. Yeah, Mexican, no more of course. Trade, no more trade embargoes in China. No need for that talk. Trade embargoes taken care of. We're just going to introduce. I've never, like, the death rate is so low relative to, it's very, like, it is seemingly insidious in the way that it transfers, but its mortality rates are quite low. Um, so I'm just going to throw an Alex Jones conspiracy theory that Trump made the whole thing. Trump made the whole thing. thing. How beautiful a metaphor would the coronavirus be? A Mexican. I just imagine the red tie down to the floor. He's taking a shit on a gold toilet on a golf course. He goes, oh, so. that's, my, that's my two cents on Trump rocked it out, knocked it out of the park. Yeah, Good like job, diplomacy. man. Diplomacy, international <laughs> diplomacy at its finest. Sorry, guys. We're we are taking it very seriously. <laughs> You're being video recorded. That's it, man. We will make it. We'll make it. <laughs> what's next? Uh, what's next? We are um, headed back up to San Francisco for some more work uh, this weekend. Then off to British Columbia, uh, so Canada teacher course. Then over, hopefully, fingers crossed, to the Australian Arnolds in Melbourne um, on the seventeenth. Be presenting with Eddie Hall, Rose Comics Man, and then oh, gee, I can do the whole year if you wanted to. We'll Jeez, no, that's Australia. great. Yeah, Eddie's great. Never he's, he, he's the first time. I've, I've chatted with him a few times, and he's got a sixth sense of humor like me. So yeah. he's yeah. an Englishman, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys will have some fun. And then uh, you're originally from Australia, right? Yeah. And that's the one place I haven't been that I've always wanted to go. Oh. It's, uh, I've never met a person from Australia that wasn't like fun, outgoing, and down to earth. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy. I love that. Hi, Mo. <laughs> Dentist. Back. Uh, we were, we'll jump back for one second. We were talking about, um, no, we won't talk about that. We'll save it for another time. Carbohydrates in you. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. This is a whole nother. Yeah, this is a whole different world. I uh, have to be on camera and bring it. Easy, <laughs> easy. Someone threw. Someone got into the train. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man.